I find the idea of a multiverse intriguing. Many physicists actually just reject this idea out of hand because they just find it uh, remarkable and, and too baroque that there are many, many other universes. Like, what are they for? Um, I don't find it um, that baroque in that sense because our picture of what constitutes our universe has been growing um, a hundred years ago, we didn't even know that there were other galaxies. And since then, our conception of the universe has become bigger and bigger. So it doesn't seem strange to me that there are other universes out there and our universe is not unique either. There are different forms of what people mean by the multiverse, but the one that I'm going to talk about is the idea that the birth event of our universe was not unique in the sense that after our universe was nucleated in, in a bubble, essentially, um, there were many other bubble universes that were born, and um, those are out there, way outside our observable horizon, and that there's structure in the universe on these very vast scales, much larger than the observable universe. And that idea comes from our best guess for what generated all the structure that we can see within our universe, a theory called inflation. And this idea that inflation leads to many universes is called eternal inflation. Eternal inflation is the idea that inflation, if it happened, only stops locally inside a universe like ours, which then carries on evolving within a bubble. Elsewhere, way outside the size of that bubble, the space is actually still inflating at an accelerated rate, but outside that region, many, many other pocket universes can also pop into being. So our universe is not unique in that scenario. And this is what our best guess for what generated all the structure in the universe is telling us.